Okay, I've gotten several questions about dimension size. When you put dimensions on drawings, they come in really small like this one. So we could go in here and say we're going to annotate and put a dimension on and put that in there. And I'm just dropping that one in place. But then you look and you see it's really, really small. One of the big problems is that uh, you want to be able to see uh, a larger size. So to change this, you... You, you would naturally think that you go in here and you're going to go and change sizes in here somehow uh, by highlighting the text, um, doing something like that, going in maybe into this part here and changing your text height there. But um, as you do that, let's just say I change that to 6, um, it still doesn't change it here. Um, so that's not what we want to do because it's going to go right back to that. Even though this is highlighted there, you can change it to 6 here. Click OK, click OK, still doesn't change. Um, so that's that's a, a problem for a lot of people. Um, and me too, I'm included. Uh, so this is how you fix the problem. All right, um, I'll cancel out all of these things. Once you put a dimension on there, right, you're back to this part here. What you need to do is you're going to go over to the Manage uh, pull down, click on the ribbon here that's the Styles Editor. And when this comes up, it should come up somewhere in here, your standard uh, defaults and all that other stuff. And once again, you'd think it was right here, but it's not. You have to come down here to text. We're not looking at label text. This is considered note text. And so when we're going to change the note text to 6, say that one, that's double the size. And then save and close, and you'll see that it changes it automatically on the drawing there. So that's how you change the dimension, uh, dimension text size.